Well, there's an old saying that uh, farmers make wine and engineers brew beer, so it seemed like the perfect thing for me to be doing. Jordan Funkhauser, who works uh, here at the Center for Crops Utilization Research, approached me and he said, I know you've been brewing beer for years and we would like to expand the kinds of fermentations that we're doing at this research center. And I said, I'll do it on one condition, that I can also teach a course to undergraduates in brewing. It's called the science and practice of brewing. I know many of them are interested in the practice part, whether they were into the science, I was going to have to show them that that is as fascinating, as, as fun as actually doing the brewing. We do some organic chemistry, some biochemistry, some food science. 2.4 ounces? Yep. Okay. So change that and you'll be good. And today they're, they're doing a really special beer. So we're uh, brewing what's called a, a Belgian double uh, ale. It's more about malts than hops. It, it's kind of unusual. Most American uh, ales uh, focus on, on hops. So it's a little di bit different experience for them. You want to mash at 150, all right? So change that to 150. We have a laboratory that in many respects is unmatched here in the United States. I, I call it the Goldilocks effect. It's, it's not too small of equipment and it's not too big. We have um, four gravity systems, uh, four pilot systems, and then a two-barrel brew house system with fermenters that allows us to get lots of students interacting at the same time in the laboratory. The first beer we brewed here was okay but flawed, and the second beer was a disaster. And, and so I realized it is a matter of learning to work with new equipment, uh, learning to actually work as a team.